Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video and in this video I will show you how you can run Flutter application on web, iOS and Android. Uh, if you prefer like a long video, like dev session video with all details, please, please check another video which is in the description. Uh, and in another video I explain like, I, like it's like a dev session where you see all the details. Uh, in this one I will go uh, like on high level through each step and at the end um, you will be able to run a um, flat replication on, uh, on, on these devices you see on the screen and it works perfectly fine. So I, it, this one is a web, this one is, uh, one second, this one is iOS version and this one is emulator. And also I have this hot reload support. So basically if I go to like update to 10, save, it will hot reload the application. Um, yeah, uh, without even uh, restarting the application. And basically in this one, what I want to do is uh, I want to go through this installation steps, uh, explain some topics. Uh, what I did for myself, which you can see in another video in more details, uh, first, I start by downloading Xcode uh, from Apple Store and Android uh, from Google's website, I mean Android Studio. And then I started these steps. Uh, why I started with downloading? Because they are like uh, big files, it will take some time. So uh, once you have these uh, tools, uh, Android Studio and Xcode installed, uh, you can follow this instruction. You need uh, Flutter itself. For this, I put Flutter under the development uh, folder, uh, like in my home folder, I have uh, development. And within this, yeah, sorry, within this development folder, I have Flutter, which is like Flutter application. Uh, you can do it uh, two ways, uh, download this file and unzip, uh, or you can uh, JIT clone with a stable. Uh, there is one remark, if you wanna have, um, uh, if you want to have web version for web, uh, in, in, in stable version, uh, you cannot run application on a web. For now, you need to switch to the better, uh, uh, better channel, uh, as you can see on this page. Uh, and uh, so, but but there is a, also another remark, which is you can start with a normal application for a mobile, and then uh, when you have everything running and it works perfectly fine. Uh, for the existing application, you can switch to the beta channel, run this create project uh, command. Again, it will convert existing project to the web-based project, but you will still able to run uh, the same project on mobile device and web, so it's, it's okay. So that's why let's go through this uh, installation uh, instructions. So first, what you need to do, as I said, you need to download Flutter itself, uh, when you run the command flutter command first time, <coughs> it will download, uh, I already did it, but for you it will download some additional files. Uh, and then you will need to run like pre-cache, which will download another files and it can take some time for uh, depending on your internet connection. Also, uh, it's advised that you put this flutter folder, uh, so basically in flutter, like under my development, I have Flutter, as I said, and in this folder we have uh, a bin with all these executables, and it's advised you put it in, in your um, shell uh, configuration. For me, it's a ZSH, so basically in ZSH RC, uh, I have uh, this export command, this one. Uh, if you use like normal uh, default bash, uh, for you it will be bash profile probably uh, you can also put it in, in this file and why you need it because every time you have a new console session it will be automatically in your pass so you don't need to do uh, uh, this command again and again uh, once you have everything installed for flutter uh, run this doctor command if you check my another video you will see that uh, after the all installation setup i needed to add to do additional setup and it was shown in a Flutter do uh, a doctor command. So this command will check your system and see if you have everything uh, uh, okay. For example, if you use Visual Studio Code, it will check, do you have plugins for Visual Studio Code? If you use Android Studio, it will check uh, plugins for Dart and Flutter. And if you don't have them, you can go to the 
Android Studio, Preferences, uh, Plugins and install these plugins. Uh, I also did it for uh, Visual Studio Code uh, uh, and it's very similar. So if you go to the extensions and search for Flutter and install uh, this plugin, uh, that's it all. And once you have uh, green light from uh, from this command, you, you can see that I still have some uh, licenses for Android to accept. I will do it later, but you but yeah, I still have some warning. But even so, I can still run uh, Android on a virtual device. It works. Uh, so yeah, once you have all this uh, set up, uh, but yeah. Uh, in your case, uh, when you go through this page step by step, uh, once you do all this step, uh, you will also need to install Xcode, configure Xcode. You can run a simulator uh, by using this command. I have it here. This is my simulator for um, iOS. Uh, I can change devices by using this menu. Uh, and basically, when you, once you have it, so what you need to do is just uh, create create a project like Flutter create uh, app. Uh, it will create structure something like this. This is like uh, for existing project. And once you do it, you can run uh, by by using Flutter run command. Uh, so uh, I skipped for now deployment. We will have another video for deployment. Uh, let's see also Android. So for Android, as I said, you will need to do this step uh, additionally. And once you have this step done, you can also run uh, for Android. And and I suggest uh, if you just started, like uh, keep to uh, uh, to Android Studio because in Android Studio they have like very nice uh, menu where you can, if you have uh, iOS, if you work on macOS, you will see. Uh, this one by default. So when you run open uh, Simulator it will appear here as well. So in Android Also, uh, I will show how you can convert to the web application uh, Once you do it, uh, you will also see Chrome and web server uh, By default you don't see Android SDK, but you can create another Android SDK by clicking this command It will generate it will take some time if you do it for the first time but at the end you will have like uh, Android device where you can also test. Uh, all this hot reload stuff, it works by default. Uh, <coughs> and it works also for uh, for a terminal. So I will show Flutter run. Uh, this will run it for web. If you have web part configured, we will do it in a second. But this will run it like a normal way. I'm not sure what happens when you have them already running uh, and how it selects which device to run. Uh, I just downloaded it. I already have live stuff, but anyway, okay. Uh, yeah, this command will run it if you do it first time. And now, while while it's working, I want to show how you can do the same uh, for web. As I said, if you want to have Flutter for web project, you will need to switch to beta. Uh, on this page, you can see high level information about uh, Flutter for web. Uh, there is also cross links where you can see more details uh, and this is the page that will explain step by step uh, what you need to do you need to first switch to the flutter beta channel you can run this command in anywhere in, in your console once you have flutter then you execute the flutter upgrade i, I already did these two commands and then uh, you run this command flutter enable web and if you have like all the existing project, as in my case, uh, you will need to go to this project, project, and do Flutter create again. So by uh, so like for this current directory, and what this command will do, it will basically uh, convert your mobile-based project to the web-based project. And after this step, you can basically. Uh, run Flutter on a web uh, and I didn't need any additional steps right now I want to like and again check this one to see what devices I have because it, to me it was strange that why it needs to download because I already have for iOS but I don't know let's see 
Android Studio Simulator, it's still working on Simulator, yeah. Devices, startup log, waiting for another flutter command to release. Okay, yeah, there is another command. Uh, but that's it basically. Uh, I really liked like how easy, uh, it took me like uh, around 50 minutes for first time, uh, exclude yeah, in including some downloads, so it will, if you have everything properly set up, it will take like 30 to 50 minutes. It's quite easy. Uh, uh, I enjoyed uh, how like it easy it is. And uh, shortly I want to like uh, explain why I need this Flutter. Basically for my CodeKN project, I will have a front end. Uh, initially I was considering I have uh, to, to have like a React Native, uh, and React and React Native. Uh, but when uh, I start like checking a bit, uh, uh, checking a bit like uh, how is this Flutter? What you can do with Flutter? Uh, does it support web uh, la language and then etc? I said okay, I can give a try to the Flutter. That's how it started. And uh, this set, I, I can uh, probably will have like more videos how I will connect like like first build some initial Flutter application for this project and then connect it with a uh, Go language backend. As you know, I have two other projects with Go, so we will have like uh, some tutorials on how you can connect Flutter application to the REST API. In our case, it will be a uh, Go-based REST API. So stay uh, connected. Uh, thank you for watching this video and see you in another one. Bye-bye.